Hello everyone, I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see the complete learning path to master Business Central. So this is for technical consultants. So if you're a developer and you wanted to learn the Business Central in a developer point of view, then this video is for you. Let's start. So as a developer, Whatever the new technology which we are learning, whatever the new programming which we are learning, we should master it. So in order to master it, we should start from the basic and learn it till the advanced one. Of course, we all know that learning is a never ending process, so we cannot stop learning it. But we should go in a proper way that where to start, how to proceed and how to end it how to advance and master it. So that is what I'm going to, going to share it with you. This mind map is prepared by myself. So I have segregated that I have categorized this business central technical consultant learning path into three modules. That is one is a basic level. Second one is an intermediate and third one is the advanced level. So if you click on this basic, you can see that you should know introduction to BC. So what is business central? Without knowing what is business central, we cannot implement it. We cannot visualize how to program. Next one is we'll be discussing about hands-on download and install objects in AL, deep dive into AL. AL is what? Application language. This language which we use to write it in VS Code, that is Visual Studio Code, to complete, to deploy a project. So if you see an in introduction to BC, you have to learn about what is Business Central, why you need Business Central, BC in developer's view, because there are two roles in Business Central. One is a functional consultant and another one is a technical consultant. That is why in the beginning itself, I have specifically mentioned that this is only for technical consultants. So as a technical consultant, we have to code based on the client's requirement and we have to develop and deploy a project. So that is what we should know what we can do it. What is our point of view on Business Central? And then objects overview in Business Central. What are the objects we have? And then introduction to AL programming. That is overview of AL programming. And if you see a hands-on download and install, that we have to get familiar with the VS code. So the VS code is what the Visual Studio code, which is an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, which we use to program. We will be typing the program and deploy that. So we should know what is AL programming extension. Of course, VL, VS code, we can use it for many programming languages like Python. We can use Python in VS code. Okay, like many languages we can install. So we can use it. So for that, if you want to use an AL programming, because that is what the program which we have to do it in for BC. Okay, we have to do any project for BC, then we have to go with an application language program. So we should know what is the AL program extension in VS Code and how to download the symbols, getting familiar with the folder structures because we have a specific folder structure like launch.json, app.json, so what all these things. And then we should run the first AL program. So that is the Next thing in basics. And if you click on objects in AL, we have table, table extension, page, page extension, report and query. So we should master all these things. If you go to table, so we have to, uh, we have to learn what is table and uh, what is a, a snippet, like what is the structure of a table, field, trigger, and uh, uh, we should know the properties of it, everything. Table extension. So what is a table extension? How we are going to extend a table? Page, even for everything, we have a field, we have a property, we have trigger, everything we have to learn. Page, page extension, reboot and query. Since I have mentioned that this is a basic, so we, sh we should learn at least how to develop or how to design a table basics of all these objects and what are the essentials for these objects. Then if you come into deep dive into AL, because AL is an application language as I am keep on mentioning it. So uh, for doing these things, like why I haven't mentioned this deep dive into AL before these objects, because to know this table and table extension, we have by default, there is an extra, there is a snippet. We can directly make use of it. But if you want to master in AL, then you have to concentrate specifically on that. Okay, so deep dive into AL, you should know how this AL syntax will work. What are the variables you can use it for? Other important extensions, if any, you have and procedures, various types of procedures we have. 
so various types of if in terms of uh, variable so if we talk about a variable we have various types of variable like a global variable a local variable so there are various types of variable we should know what are these variables and how to apply that in our uh, um, implementation and everything so that is about the variable and if you talk about the procedures we have various types of procedures as well so we should know what are the types of procedures and how to use that procedures as well in our programming so these everything we will be discussing okay like uh, we'll be dis discussing about the procedure like a message procedure and error procedures and confirm procedures uh, uh, that is and uh, str menu procedure so we have various types of procedures and also we will be uh, we will be talking about uh, the user defined procedures and everything and the next one is what intermediate so so far we have discussed about the uh, basics so these are the things which you have to cover in the basics okay and if you if you just wanted to know about the intermediate you have function filtering and inter object communication so if you talk about function you have validation function date and time function date conversion function flow function formatting flow field sum index field input and output so in this if you talk about the validation so because validation is a specific function which we needed of course to master it we should know various function like a test field and uh, field error in it validate okay so these are all the validation function if you talk about the date and time today time and uh, current date time uh, work date date time uh, date to uh date to d mine so there are various functions you have so all these functions we should master and date conversion function break like round format and um, evaluate okay so flow control functions like repeat until while do so all these functions we should uh, get familiarized with that and the next one is a filtering and inter object communication so these are all the thing which we should know in intermediate level and if you talk about the advanced level we should know xml port web services in efficient designing and role center so in this in intermediate we can also add one more things like uh, we can we should also know about the objects in detail okay so let us deep dive into the object objects in bc okay so in bc we'll be learning about the that is uh, here we'll be learning about the basics like overall thing and object whereas in deep diving into bc we'll be learning some more uh, how to write your own trigger how to write your own procedure into it so everything we have to learn so this is the overall learning path so we i have covered so far whatever i which whichever it came into my mind i have written it okay so if i have missed something or if you feel like this can be added in a specific uh, uh, module like a basic or intermediate or advanced please comment it so that i can add it to this uh, learning path and uh, we will also see uh, i'll also upload the videos for all these topics okay that is what my complete idea so already i have uploaded the topic on uh, introduction to bc completely like a how to and also i have uploaded on hands on downloads and installation so this also i have completed and i have started uploading i have uploaded on table and then i'll uh, continue to upload on table extension page page extension everything okay and in advanced we we'll, we you you should also know how to uh, write a complete project okay this is also important here once we complete uh, the advanced so meanwhile while doing everything we have to practice because practice makes a man perfect so we have to write everything okay so every every time we have to just practice the even whenever i am uploading any video i am just doing a hands on uh, that is i am doing a program and then i am just executing it uh, and showing it to you so it is better to use that if you want any exercises to do i can also upload that so this is what the complete scenario so i haven't mentioned anywhere like you have to uh, try it because for everything you have to try okay and other than this that is the introduction to bc while download and install you have to download it you have to use your laptop to download and install it and even in objects in al i have explained the basics basic of everything uh, by doing that is exercise that you have to do but the end, by the end of the advanced level you should be able to deploy a complete project that is what the whole idea so yes i am done with the today's video that is what the overall learning path so if you have any doubt 
or if you want to add any other tight topic into this particular learning path please let me know i am ready to add it here because that will be easy that will be um, uh, good for everyone because we have to share our knowledge thank you for watching stay safe bye bye